My name is Ryan Nyquist, 27 years old from Greenville, North Carolina. Nyquist has the most X Games medals of anybody on this whole trip. He has so many tricks, it's unbelievable. Always laughing, always goofy. Nyquist. <laughs> this is my second Road Fools trip. He's not afraid to get goofy or silly, and I think that's why I like him. Rock and roll Road Fools. <laughs> Yay! This one will be a little bit different in that we're traveling with three bands. Snake Trap, Grayscale, and the Spike is a Pipe Bomb. We always seem to rather the music anyways in the background, so to have live bands kind of going, so to add to it, you know. My name is Matt Berenger. I'm 29 years old from Layton, Utah. Yeah! Matt Berenger is one of my all-time favorite riders. His way of thinking is a little outside the realm of being normal. He's the most unique person I know. He's like the funnest dude in the world. His whole life is based around having fun. Pretty psyched to see the bands play. I'm here to have a good time, see the bands, see some amazing riding. Rock and roll Road Fools, first one. Ah! Hey, I'm Lee Ramsdale, 36 years old, from Raleigh, North Carolina. Lee Ramsdale is uh, quite a character. Yeah! Can always make you smile if you're feeling down or just fart. Goofy little bow-legged man, I love him. Hi, I'm uh, Tony Hamlin. Oh, it's real high. It's... Tony seems like a wild guy. He's got a great style on the bike, and uh, he rides for FBM, so if you can hang out with Crandall for a long period of time, you know you're all right. Or just This is my first Road Fools, and this is the first rock and roll tour, so. You having a good time? Great time. My name is Jeff Klugowitz. I'm 22 years old, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I just met Jeff, and uh, he, I already gave him a nickname, J Klug. Uh, last minute addition to the trip, from everything I've seen, he's pretty much your quintessential Midwest shredder. What's going on? Dominic Travato, 19 years old, from Waterford, Wisconsin. Dominic seems unfazed by everything that's going around him. He's got that Midwest uh, textile. It's cool to be on a trip with Dominic. Like, I always see him do all this crazy stuff all the time at our local park because we ride together quite often. Can you handle the pressure? I think so, yeah. What's up? Chris Doyle. 25, still in Pittsburgh. Chris Doyle, he's, he's awesome. I've looked up to him forever. He's a very nice guy, very polite. He always does stuff that's real amazing, real big, with the best, cleanest style. And he looks good, always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fourth, fourth trip, I'm creeping up into uh, Martinez and Van Homan territory. My name is Carl Pointer, 18 years old, from Newcastle, Indiana. Cocky ass Carl. He'll let you have it. If you slip up, he'll let you know. Four pegs, no brakes, and a free coaster. Amazing balance. And I've been on one Rofuls trip, but this is my first official. My name's Scotty Kramer, 19 years old from Jackson, New Jersey. Scotty Kramer is a whiz kid. Double tail, tail tap, tail up in somehow. 360. Tail whip drop ins and small bangs. What do you want me to tail whip and how many times? My first uh, Road Fools trip. I'm really excited, it's gonna be cool. There was some speculation from some of the younger riders if you were actually a professional bike rider or a roadie for Taj's band. My name is Morgan Wade, I am 23 years old from Tyler, Texas. Morgan has the worst mustache I've ever seen in my life. It makes me want to puke. Morgan kind of looks like my dad. He's got a mustache, long hair, he's a total hessian. This is my third props trip, and mustache is first. My name's Kevin Porter, I'm 24 years old. This is my third Road Fools. I'm excited to be on this trip with uh, Kevin Porter. Uh, I've always rode with him, you know, at local spots, he's from the Midwest. I think he's got a really unique style, which is really cool. It's gonna be a good time. I'm Tobias Wicker, I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Berlin in Germany. Tobias is weird, he'll look at me, and just start doing this like he's a cat or something. What? Crazy tech lines. I'm overwhelmed. I don't understand how he's so good. Breaking ramps in half. It is going over it. Oh, look at the size of him. <laughs> he's a good guy. My name's Adam Banton. I'm 31 years old. I live in Culver City, California. He's been working on that mustache for like eight months. <laughs> it's pretty easy to get along with. He's a lot of fun. Bring it. 
<laughs> Constantly running his mouth. No one's talking to you. Okay? If you're watching this, Adam, I'm gonna mess with you so bad on this trip. He thinks he gets under my skin, but he doesn't. He can dish it out, but he can't take it. <laughs> I brought my guitar. There's a couple guys on the trip, like Adam Banton and uh, Bruce Crispin. They brought their guitars, and they're gonna they're gonna be playing some acoustic sets, I reckon. Try to keep it as simple as possible. I haven't really had that much experience playing playing out in front of people and stuff, so I'm still really nervous about that. Bruce is actually gonna come in and sit in and play rhythm on some stuff. Hello, my name is Bruce Christman from Portland, Oregon. Bruce Christman's part of the Free Coaster crew. Bruce won the X Games years ago with a totally different style than he has now. I really like the old Bruce, but New Bruce is awesome too. Riding no brakes, no pegs. He can go backwards better than I can go forward, that's for sure. Coming on as a musician this time, which I'm very excited about. So I get to play some acoustic shows along with Adam Banton. I just think it's awesome that Bruce and Adam are both riding on the trip and playing music. They both do a real good job at both and it's pretty cool. Being on this trip with the bands is something something that's new to me. I've never been really been around bands. A couple of the bands I'm real psyched on. Like I've never heard of Grayscale, so it's always good to just hear new music. We're gonna meet one of the bands, the young, handsome men of Grayscale. Those fucking guys. They seem rowdy, they have tattoos, so I'm a little bit scared. Grayscale I've never heard of before, but uh, I heard they're pretty wild. <laughs> what instrument do you play and what the heck is your name? Drums, Jason. Guitar, Larry. Guitar, Matt. Christian. John, bass. I think there's a lot of parallels between touring bands and touring bike riders, so it's pretty cool to like mesh the two together. We're here with the Snake Trap of Austin, Texas. I'm going to pass off the mic and they're going to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about the band. Hey, I'm Brian. I play the drums. Taj Mihalic and I play bass. Lee Brooks, guitar. It's pretty crazy because I've grown up, you know, looking up to Taj and his riding, so it's going to be pretty wild to see uh, how he is in a band. It's amazing to me how they have put together actually 30-minute songs and have been able to remember all that stuff. Then there is, this bike is a pipe bomb. If you guys could tell us your names and your role in the band, that would be great. Hi, my name's Ted. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I play drums, and this bike's a pipe bomb. My name's Ryan O.D. I play guitar. Hi, my name's Terry Johnson, and uh, I play bass for This Bike is a Pipe Bomb. Somebody asked me what the, uh, the pipe bomb sounds like, and I, I really don't know. It's kind of like a folky punk. Dude, they're f***ing great, man. That's all there is to say. They seem like they're just like full of energy and just about all about laughing and having a good time. Music and BMX have always gone hand in hand, I think. Music's an influential thing through, you know, with BMX I think a lot and to a lot of riders out there and it's just like a music a motivator and I think it's awesome to put them two together and actually do a tour. It, it just seems like it's a really cool atmosphere, like it's some bands playing, riding some bikes, have a good time. I think most bike riders can relate to that.
pulled into Four Seasons Skate Park in Milwaukee. Did you get a lot of phone calls from uh, the young riders asking about Scotty Kramer and Ryan Nyquist? Oh yeah, a zillion of them. That's me in the photograph Looking off to the left while the other ones laugh at Props brought in a bunch of 30-plusers, the old fools, Chris Riesenberger, John Lee, and Leland. What the hell are they doing on this trip, anyways? <laughs> Left my mind in a boxcar Skipping rails in the train yard Skipping the long arm and the call up There's so much stuff that needs brought in for the event, be it PA systems, musical stuff. We're here with Brian from the Snake Trap. He's also the sound guy as well as the drummer for the band. Um, what can you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? Well, this is an old 80s uh, mixing console. We're using it to capture the woody atmosphere of the skate park. Right now we're trying to get a direct feed of the audio right into my computer so that later they can sync it up with what the camera is going to see. My first time here, I've always watched this park and videos and stuff, so I'm really excited to be here. Stoked to check out some of these bands? Yeah, man, I, I, I want to see a Taj in action. I'd like to thank everyone coming out. I'd like to thank Neil and the guy at Four Seasons Skate Park. And I guess we're going to start out the evening with Snake Trap from Austin, Texas. <laughs> played like uh, kind of right next to the mini ramp so when they started playing it wasn't like the session had to stop it was uh, it kind of enhanced the session so you had live music it's definitely a little bit of weird acoustics in a skate park like I couldn't hear very well eventually I just gave up and played what I was supposed to play and hope it sounded right <laughs> tons of good locals there's so many good kids in the Midwest it's unbelievable
Jamie Spritzer was there. He's like a legend. A lot of pressure, a lot of people talking about Jamie Spritzer on this sub rail right here. I'll give it a shot. Snake shot was pre pretty intense. A little cold at first, kind of tough to get into it, but then you warmed up a little bit. It was a lot of fun. How's it going, Tobias? Uh, pretty bad because I have to fix my bike. What brought you out to Milwaukee tonight? This, Road Fools. When stuff like this uh, happens, you see a lot of people you haven't seen in a really long time. What do you think of the, uh, the merch woman? She's cool. It's weird being the old guy in the trip, seeing all these young guys like Scotty doing everything imaginable. Lee Ramsdale taught me backflip fakies on the quarter pipe. Lee fell off the side of the one of the ramps and on top of his bike. And then I see him like creep up over the side of the ramp. Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Jeff Klugowitz. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You want to go on the rest of the trip? Definitely. Give me five. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, now you get a headbutt. Boom! That's going to do it for our first stop here. Four Seasons Milwaukee. Skate park got shut down. Bands were awesome. Everybody had a good time. Can't wait for tomorrow. This morning we left uh, Milwaukee and drove up to Scrap Skate Park in Hoffman Estates. What can you tell us about the situation tonight here in Chicago? Well, we rocked so hard the cops came. What'd the cops say? They said, quit rocking this hard. This bike is a pipe bomb is going to go on and we're going to cross our fingers and hope no one gets stuck with the big fat noise ordinance violation. Here's a song about little babies. What'd you guys come out here to see tonight? This bike is a pipe this bomb. This bike is a pipe bomb.
you guys see that crazy ass solo I did at the end? My fingers were so fast. I think I saw a banana. Did you see a banana? Yeah, I did see a banana. He was running around. I heard you were fruity, but this kind of tops it. Yeah, uh, this seals the deal, doesn't it? <laughs> see the banana do the Superman? Do you do a Superman? I'll give you five bucks if you bust out a Superman in a banana costume. Five bucks. <laughs> Let's go. Five bucks. Done. I guess I'm paying up. I saw a banana do a Superman today. It was sweet. <laughs> Easiest money ever made. Hey, we're packing it up here on day two of Road Fool's Rock and Roll Tour. See you guys tomorrow in St. Louis. I am satisfied. Hiding in our friend's apartment. Only leaving once a day. Today we drove from uh, Chicago to St. Louis. Little, uh, little haul of a drive. Today is day three of the Props Road Fools Rock and Roll Tour. We're here in St. Louis at the Ramp Rider Skate Park. Everyone's inside. That place is awesome. It's been there for, uh, they've actually redone it. So a lot of guys hadn't ever even been there the, to the new place. It was kind of cool. You had to walk up like three flights of steps to get up actually to the skate park. So it was kind of cool. You had to walk up all these steps and you'd never expect all these ramps to be up there. I know the bands had a little bit of a problem getting all their stuff up. They had to take some sketchy freight elevator. Who's your favorite pro here tonight? Scotty Kramer. What's he gonna do? I don't know, probably one of them double tail with the tire tab things and back in. Morgan, where are we at? Ramp Riders. How do you feel about it? I'm sorry we're out of time. I'll tell you how I feel. I feel great about being here. Morgan, how do you feel about me feeling great? Not very good. Sorry we're out of time. Morgan feels great about me feeling great. What's up with Evan Fisher? Uh, he's like the raddest mini ramp rider I've ever seen. How excited are you right now? Pretty excited. Are, are there any big name pros out here that you uh, want to see? I don't know. Are there any big name pros that you know out here today? You uh, excited to see some of the guys that rock front breaks out here today? Yeah. You don't seem too excited. Are you a little bit nervous? No. I came to see Morgan Wade. What's up with your mustache? Jeff, you've been on the trip more than 24 hours. What's your take on everything? Uh, I don't know. It's a real good vibe. Everyone uh, is getting along and everyone's been killing it. What do you like about this park? Uh, I like that it's wide open. Uh, a lot, of, lot more deck space than the last two parks we've been to. All right, all right, all right, all right, St. Louis. It is about to be go time. These guys do not give a shit about their own personal safety. They definitely don't give a damn about rabies. St. Louis, put your hands together for Reno, Nevada. No, Grayscale! All right, who knows the Euro Clap? It's because I'm the catfish and down. Just one time to mend 
How'd the show go for you guys tonight? The show was awesome tonight. After the Grayscale set, Catfish got on the mic and started uh, beatboxing and, and freestyling, and Grayscale actually backed him up with some beats. And it was amazing. Now you know everybody's gonna do this. Everybody scratch their head in St. Louis. What you want to say, dog? No practice. Who's the handsome mic on the mic? Mr. Catfish. Listen, everybody, it's a grayscale song. Catfish with my homeboys from Reno. Everybody scratch their head, but he know how we get down so damn ill. Make noise, St. Louis, because we about to chill in St. Louis. St. Louis. Everybody knows how we get down, down you do this. St. Louis, us to St. Louis. Grayscale, bad as hell, but you do this. on the planet, right here. These guys effing rock. They're going in my iPod as soon as I get home. Cat scale should close out the night every every night. <laughs> he's a man right there. I think he's gonna uh, have an album coming out soon. What's your best trick you're gonna pull tonight? <sighs> That's a good question. Start on the highway, yeah. bright lights, red lines. There's someone beside me. I like it. 
Zach Warden has glasses and a full face. And at one point, Catfish was like, here comes Dark Vader and he's doing it for Lens Crafters. <laughs> <laughs> and it was outrageous. <laughs> One of the locals is like, dude, you gotta do this gap. I told Banton, like, hey, scoot over a little bit. I'm gonna check out this gap. I'm gonna just look at it. Just look at it. Banton came down here and told everybody. Then everyone was up there and I was like, oh man, like. <laughs> Hit a quarter pipe and then jump over, I don't know, it was like about 12 feet into a, a spine. I know Doyle's almost seven feet tall, but you still couldn't see over it. So they put up a Gatorade bottle to add to the difficulty because he had to gap over the Gatorade bottle and into the spine. I was fortunate enough to get enough speed. He went around a curved wall ride at 100 miles an hour. Sprint with the, all his racer knowledge he had in his head. First time straight. It was a feeler, but anybody else would have just took it. But now the D-man, he's gonna turn it down. Stuck in the road's wet, a line goes up from the cigarette. Breaks into the panic and vanishes. One of the most outrageous things I've ever seen in my life. Sorry guys, but <laughs> you can't touch the D-man right now. Chris Doyle pretty much just shut down the show. We're gonna catch up with you guys in Nashville, Tennessee. We traveled all day down to Nashville, Tennessee. What we've got here is an organized system of filing the bicycles away in between stops. We're here in Nashville, the 6th Avenue Skate Park, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know, this is the most professional venue we've been in so far. It was really good. I think the bands were really excited to have um, you know, a band-like venue to play in this time. A little small for my taste, but you know, I think it'll be alright. We're here in the alleyway behind the 6th Avenue Skate Park at the Nashville Stop. Let's go on in. Up next, we've got from Pensacola, Florida, this bike's a pipe bomb. Oh. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> Here's a song about punks taking over the world. Yeah. It's also about punks boring people back onto their bikes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the
tonight, there's going to be some bicycle riders riding stickers. bicycles. Pipe bomb rock. It's fun. It was nice. It was really nice. This bike is a pipe bomb. Had some crazy gutter punk fans there. We're glad some of our regulars showed up to hang out to stink the place up a little bit. They're yeah. the best fans in punk the world. Rock. I'm pretty sure they were suburb punks though. Dominic did this ice trick, right? I didn't think it was possible. He couldn't even get the speed to get up there. Set up a little launch ramp for him, and that helped him boost up on top of it. Oh, I just got jarred. I was almost about to tell a kid to stop, because I've seen things like that go down and people start to snap limbs. Is that the biggest ice pick you've ever done? Yeah, definitely. Oh, well, it's about two of me high. It's outrageous. He just ice picked it, installed it for a couple of seconds and pulled back in perfect. Yeah. I'm really psyched for that guy for doing that. I'm sure he's thrilled. What are you oh my gosh, he's freaking awesome. Amazing. It's the biggest ice pick ever done. There's no way around it. Uh, we're just demonstrating how high the ice pick was. Uh, Tony Hamlin is only like, standing on my shoulders, and I can't see it, but I'm guessing it's probably around his head somewhere. Got two more stops on this tour. I can only imagine what's going to go on. We were just driving all day yesterday, and we had to get out of the van because everyone was going crazy. We stopped in Little Rock, Arkansas, and went street riding for a little bit. We were out riding and Scotty sees this wall and he says he needs some wood. We found some wood, we put up, made a sketchy New Jersey ramp. Scotty jumped up, tail tap to front flip in. I don't know what else needs to be said. I, my favorite part where there were two local dudes, you just thought he was going to tail yeah. tap. I was like, yeah, you got some pretty big bike riders in your uh, in your town. And the kids are like, yeah, we just saw Steve Crandall. <laughs> <laughs> I was psyched. What kind of job are you doing? Uh, making sure that people that don't have passes don't get upstairs. Who are you here to see today? Brian Nyquist. It's cold here. What about Jeff Nyquist? I don't really know him. Ryan Burnquist. Yeah, Ryan Burnquist? Yeah. What about Chris Doyle? Uh, I haven't heard of him. I like Tony Hamlin. What about Ryan Nyquist's band? Ryan Nyquist doesn't have a band. We're here at the Autumn Ramp Park at the Joplin, Missouri stop. Everyone's going off and the bands are setting up, so let's get started. Let's make some noise! It's a great deal! So, you're 
get better than the next one! And then two months run the last. Well, these are the cards you get on shows. Play the magic run. Well, this is all you have. And this is all not the end. Well, these are the cards you get on shows. Play the magic run. Well, this is all you have. And this is all not the end. Wonder have you got it right? Is this a world and a prayer? Just thinking what you can These are the cards you get and told Play the magic can This is all you have This is not the end These are the cards you get and told Play the magic can This is all you have This is not the end Slaughter enough! Give me a pebble in the stream. Slaughter enough! Find kitchen. in. Slaughter enough! To set me free. It's not enough! It's not enough! It's not enough! That was a lot of fun. A lot of uh, Red Bull filled kids moshing each other and beating up Ryan Nyquist and Tobias and Morgan. Morgan Wade under the attack. Stand up, kids! Median age between 8 and 10. Medium energy level way off the scale. The kids here are crazy. I can't believe they took Leland's clothes off them. That was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I took a sock. I don't want to talk to you. The kids just wanted to mess with us, so. <laughs> They're always down here like this. It's a zoo. That's going to wrap it up here in Joplin, Missouri. We're going to see you in Dallas. Hope you had fun here. at the Eisenberg Skate Park at the Plano, Texas stop. <laughs> Behind this curtain is where everything's going down. Thank you guys all for coming out today. Can you guys put your hands together for Austin, Texas' own The Snake Trap! Thanks for coming out, everybody. We're The Snake Trap, Austin, Texas. Stick around for the rest of the bands and then stick around to watch some awesome riding.
Thank you. Brian was riding great on the trip, decided he wanted to do a little headbanging at one of the rock concerts. Now you can't ride. Before that, I slept wrong, so I woke up with a kink in my neck, which wasn't good, but I could do it. And then one of those little damn little bastard eight-year-olds grabbed my neck last night and ruined everything for me. So, <laughs> can't ride today. Uh, taking it easy, icing it, taking care of my neck, and hopefully uh, I can ride the T1 ramp. That's what Best protect your neck. I'm DJ. That's going to do it for the demo at Eisenberg Skate Park. It also wraps up the tour. We've got one more day in Austin tomorrow. Going to ride the T1 ramp, have a little barbecue. Well, this is the last day of the trip. Things are winding down. We're at the T1 uh, backyard, and I don't know, the trip's been real good. What can I say? It's both uh, music and riding mixed into one. Oh, it was just a great time. What can I say? It's rock and roll. It's BMX. It's mayhem. This trip whooped my ass. Yeah. I'm tired. I took so many slams. Uh, I'm sore. I kind of got beat up a little bit. Other than that, I had an amazing time. Everybody rode awesome. Meeting the local kids. I had one of the best trips of my life. The riding level that BMX is at today is just beyond comprehension. This trip is a perfect example of that. It was real fun hanging out with everybody, partying with the bands, listening to them play. They all played amazing. The shows they put on were awesome. I think what was really cool about this tour was having three completely different kinds of bands. Meeting the guys from Snake Trap was awesome. I've known Taj probably for 15 years, but me and Brian were really cool, interesting individuals. Tell us about some of the highlights from this tour for you guys. For me, it was obviously just getting to blend two of my favorite things together, which is bike riding and music, although I didn't get to ride that much. but Great trip. Thanks again. Well, to begin with, I'd just like to say that Catfish is the craziest guy I've ever met. Cheap magic tricks that anyone Cheap can magic. figure out. He sticks a marker through a dollar. I called him out on it. I knew exactly how it worked. Didn't I? Is that true? Yes. It was a great mix of different styles. The trip was good, it was a new idea. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know how this, it was going to work out or whatever, but uh, every stop was different. Riding parks and riding parks with some of the best park riders on earth is kind of a, a privilege in, it, in itself. I wish we could keep going, but unfortunately there has to be an end. Adios. Perfect place to end up at T1, never ridden the ramp before, amazing time. Uh, I think the crew this time was really good, a lot of uh, guys with a sense of humor, a lot of guys that really just wanted to have a good time. It was a little bit stunning to be on the road with 40 people between the roadies, the cameramen, the pros and the musicians. I really don't know why we decided to come, I mean, when it first came up, our immediate reaction was like, oh, oh. Playing was fun, it was way different than what we're used to, but we had a good time. What did you guys think when you were told that your band was stinky and not enough heavy metal? The band stinks because... I don't have heavy metal. That, that was the highlight, highlight of the really tour. Nice. Stink. I really like the awkward feeling of staring out and not anybody really caring or anything. If I could say that there was one highlight, it would be not being tasered. <laughs> it was sweet to see all the bands, you know. I, I haven't been around anything like that. At 19 years old, one of the youngest guys on this trip. Probably one of the most talented bike riders. And that's it, man. That's all I got. I was totally unfamiliar with Grayscale starting the trip. We uh, just like um, playing shows for lots of people, especially people that are going to throw themselves 10 feet in the air on a bike. I had a blast performing with them. I've never really performed with a band before. My favorite moment, though, hands down, throwing a possum at catfish, barking and biting and snarling and a rabid <laughs> possum. First impressions are uh, very important. I would have to say Tobias throwing a uh, fudger in a puddle. <laughs> in Nashville. That was that was one of the highlights for me. Watching uh, Tobias. He was the one that originally taught me how to drop in. Oh my god. And Dom the Bomb. Me and Tobias have a, a, a thing going on. <laughs> Tobias is cool. When Larry is playing, you gotta stand like 15 feet back or you will lose your jaw. I'm getting my bike from Crandall next week when I get back. We love Steve Crandall. After we finish with this, we're going to head into the studio and record our second album. My favorite part of the trip, of the whole trip, was 
everything. Best time I've had probably ever. This tour with all the bands and just having a good time riding with all my friends. One of those things I'm always going to remember. Good times playing with uh, Bruce, getting to play at all the skate parks, venues and stuff. Hearing Bruce and Adam play in the sets and rehearsing in the hotel room was, it was really neat. It was almost like two separate things together for me, a riding trip and to be able to play music. Thanks uh, to Props and to uh, Fender Guitars for making this whole trip happen. I'm going to have Bruce come up and uh, sit in on uh, two songs, two more songs and uh, he's going to play rhythm, rhythm and uh, he just, this next one we're going to do, uh, it's from Road Full 6, is that right Leland, wherever you're at? And uh, he just learned it last night, so I think it'll go well. Hey, you know, it happens.